Hey guys, what's up? So this will be a quick video. I just wanted to give you the latest updates regarding my investments through Gcash's G-Invest and also through Seedbox Philippines. As mentioned in previous videos, I invested in global equity funds. The first would be the Global Technology Feeder Fund from Atram. And second will be the Global Consumer Fund, also run by the ATR Asset Management Group. So it's been two months since investing in April 2021. How have my funds performed? Have I actually made money or have I lost money? Let's find out. Alright, so in those two months, my returns for Seedbox Philippines is actually at 1.16%. And for Gcash G-Invest, my returns are at 1.09%. So with Seedbox Philippines is higher, does that mean that it's a better investment? Absolutely not because both runs are anyway run by Atram. Why is there a difference? The small variance in the percentages would actually be a consequence of the investment dates wherein I put in the money. So anyway, these are very, very small percentages. So at these returns of just 1%, you might be thinking, is something wrong? <laughs> and I understand where you're coming from, especially if you're new to all this. If this is your first time to be investing in foreign equity funds or equity funds altogether, you might be thinking, I don't think the returns are worth the risk. Globe, Atram, and Seedbox Philippines have made the investment barrier really low at 1,000 pesos. So if you rushed into this, and now you might be having second thoughts about this, don't worry, the funds are performing exactly as how it's supposed to perform. So if you've invested and you're scared and you're questioning what's going on, this video is for you. I have here three main takeaways for you to ponder, and hopefully you can broaden your perspective about these funds. So number one, yes, it's been two months, but it's just been two months. What we have to keep in mind is that these are long-term investments. So the mindset you have to take on is not just even months, but actually years. And just to share with you, the previous BPI US equity fund that I invested in in 2017 actually lost me 13% in the first year. After four years now, my returns there are at 50% already. So I'm already on my way to making great returns. If you want more details about that, click on this video now. So yes, you should have a broader perspective. Again, not just in months, but think in years. Alright, so takeaway number two. Now that your investment is already making 1%, does this mean that it's never gonna be in the red, never gonna be in the negative, and moving to higher returns from this point onwards? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Your investment is still at risk, and the 1% right now is no guarantee. I assure you, it's probably going to go down at some point. But again, having that long-term perspective, these profits and losses will happen. What you need to do is to just let your investment breathe. Don't micromanage it. Don't obsess about it. Your investment is just like any relationship that you have. You have to let it breathe. You have to give it space. You have to let it grow and probably make mistakes because you can't obsess about it. You can't obsess every movement that it makes every day. Trust in the long run that this investment will actually yield good dividends for you. And number three, our last key takeaway. If you really are bothered by your investment and being in the negative, take being in the red as an opportunity to invest more. Because if your investment is in negative territory, it means that you can actually buy in lower. You can effectively lower your cost acquisition. So this is the principle of cost averaging. Don't look at your investment being in the negative as something to feel bad about, but it's actually an opportunity to buy in more and yield even better returns in time. You don't have to feel down about your investment being negative. Take this as a chance to buy in. You can do it weekly, monthly, or even quarterly. Every time you check and you see that's in the red, you can invest more because anyway, it's not such a big amount that you're going to be parting with and the returns are really promising. Alright, so thanks for sticking around for that quick update. <laughs> that went a little longer than expected. I hope that this refreshes your perspective. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And thanks again for watching guys and happy investing.